In today's vlog, we primarily discuss my experience with Gel X Nails and I open a couple more packages. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, coming in hot with another try on haul. I really wanted a robe for Christmas. I put it on my Christmas list. None of my family members got it for me this year, which is totally fine. So I got this inspo from Jackie Ina and then there's this page called Dress Like Jackie on Instagram. And she like puts together all of Jackie Ina's outfits. So I purchased this robe because I was like, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And uh, this website is called 100 Stars. It's in the UK and they make all these stunning robes and these beautiful patterns and they make like matching headbands. It's freaking adorable and I love it. They make these like beautiful loungewear robes that I guess you could technically wear as, you know, like a tunic or like a top if you wanted to, but that's beside the point. So the material, so they're made out of, I think, rayon. So they're not made out of polyester or anything. The, ma the material is still also very soft and silky. And I, I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's kind of like a, a light linen type of material, um, but it's very, very soft, nice. The pattern is beautiful. It's delicate. Um, I think in order to keep these nice, you may have to hand wash them or wash them on the delicate cycle and like line dry them. But I am obsessed and I definitely want one or two more sets of, of this robe. And I probably will get it because, like, come on. If you're a robe lover, can you not? It's kind of an expensive robe. It's like 80, 88 British pounds. Um, but honestly, I think it's totally worth it, especially if you keep it nice. It's really pretty. I just want to wear this all day. Like, I love walking around the house in like flowy, <laughs> flowy type things. Hello. Haven't talked to you guys today. Um, today's going to be a fun day. I'm going to get my nails done and I'm getting something different done to them. I'm getting Gel X. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm gonna talk about my experience after because, and like describe the whole process and all that when I get back because I don't necessarily wanna be late and I wanna like record a couple clips and stuff like that. It's near downtown and I don't know the parking situation so I'm leaving a little bit earlier than what I would normally for to go to this area in my city. So I'm very, very, very excited because I've been looking for something specific when it comes to my nails, because I am like very serious about my nails. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm very excited. I'm gonna take you guys along and I'm gonna show you the before. Oh, yeah, the lighting isn't really good. But anyway, these are my nails before. These are my natural nails. Before this, I had a hard gel overlay and I took, that, took it off earlier and I'm gonna go get the Gel X done. So I'm very excited. And here's my outfit of the day. I just recently got this from Zara. I'll link it down below. I look like cookies and cream ice cream, but I don't know, I'm digging it. I love it. <laughs> and then these boots are from Target. Um, the over the knee boots and the flat style. And I just love this outfit, it's so cute. I'm gonna wear a black handbag and uh, we'll talk about Jill X. So I got my Gel X done and I love it. I love this color too. Hi, so I am back home and I wanted to talk about my experience with Gel X and why I decided to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. So basically I have a friend and I always pay attention to people who have really beautiful nails and just kind of ask them what they do. So she, you know, always, like her nails always look good. She actually lives in New York City. So I was like, hey, what do you get done to your nails? Like, do you just get gel? Do you get like acrylic with gel? Do you get hard gel? What do you get? And so she told me she got gel X and that like not a lot of salons do it. Um, but to like just check for a place in my area, whatever. And so I was like, okay, cool, great. So anyway, I searched it in my city. Um, I found a few different places, found a few different places who did it. There were only like three options. So um, I booked an appointment a couple of days ago to go to this place. And my beef with my nails, because I like to go like have my nails done. Um, lately I've been getting them done, but I've gone through long stretches of time where I've done them myself, but I just like having my nails done. So 
like if you can see between the cuticle and you know where, where the polish starts it's like a lot of the times when i leave the salon i see already visible space and then like two weeks later it looks like i haven't gotten my nails done in like a month i don't know if that makes any sense but like i was just so fed up i'm like i want to go and get something done to my nails where there is like not space between my polish and my cuticle this may sound like very sim simple and trivial but i'm just like why would I have not gotten my nails done for two weeks? Cause I like go every two weeks. It looks horrible. I just can't stand it. And so she always said that her nails last for a like three weeks a month. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll try this out. And so basically the reason why I got it done, cause after I had done some research, it's essentially like a press on nail that's made out of gel. So it's, it's, you know, hard, but like a little bit malleable and it's like a full coverage. So they kind of put it on like a press on nail, but they secure it with like this, this gel um, that they put between the, the gel press on part and then your natural nail and then you cure it underneath the light and that's how it's like secured. And then they paint it with gel polish. So she, when she put it on, like she can get really right in there and really close to the cuticle, which is great. So like if I like, this finger is crooked, so that's why it looks funny because of something that happened when I was younger. But you see, there is absolutely no space there, which is phenomenal. And that way they grow out really well. And it takes a while for you to notice that they're growing out. So that's why I got them done. Long story short. So I'm very excited. They're supposed to last like three weeks to a month with you know you not having to get them done again which is amazing um so i'm hoping that that's the case for me but um yeah it seemed like a pretty kind of standard process and apparently to remove them you soak them off like your normal gel so that's that's fantastic the lady that i went to was really uh she was really nice so i probably will probably will go back to her again but essentially you know you kind of follow the normal protocols you know buff the nails and whatever um and then she fit all the tips to me like they do um you know for, like you do for a press on nail or for like acrylics or whatever um then she uh applied like she roughed up the bottom of the gel press on thing um you put a gel on you know put it on you cure it whatever and then she painted them so it's actually pretty quick my appointment was at 4 45 um and then i got back home before six and it's like a you know 15 minutes away which is phenomenal what else was i gonna say i also like adore this color it is i've been looking for something kind of like this it's not full-on white and it's not full-on pink it seems to me kind of like a um, mixture of both like a creamy very 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 like small amount of pink in the polish so it is perfect and I'm definitely going to keep getting this I love it I'll ask her too next time what this color is but it's really amazing and yeah the girl was she was really nice and super cool and you know just like a small business she said she's been in business for eight years which is great so if you kind of want to try something similar to this go and google gel x nails in your city and this was $65. I paid $65. So, um, and I, I did not have anything on my nails when I went there. So just FYI in terms of pricing. But I was like to try little new things and I hope that it grows out. Like I'm hoping that it grows out and looks really good. So I need something long lasting. Like I'm gonna be traveling so much this year so I need something that's gonna be long lasting and you know, just look really good a lot. So I'm happy that she told me about this. And these also are definitely longer than what I normally get, but I just kind of let her do her thing. Since it's the first time, I just told her what shape I like and that I like them generally on the shorter side and I just let her do her thing. But I think they look very, very nice, very elegant and pretty and just well done. I'm just sitting here having a little snack before I eat dinner because I'm really hungry. And I'm just making that chicken parm pasta again. I'm having a go-go squeeze. I like really meant to applesauce right now. I don't know why, but yep. So just let me know, um, have you had gel -X done? If so, how was your experience? Do you get it done regularly? Um, do you get anything else done with your nails that you like? Do you do them at home? Let me know, because I'm always interested in trying something new, but I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna be into this right now. Well, we'll see. And I think I'm actually going to try her gel manicures too. Um, but I generally like to have something a bit harder because 
you know, have curly hair and like all the products are like very oil, you know, have oil in them and um, essential oils and whatever, lots of water. And so I just, I like to have it, my nails a little harder.